It's all a word game that goes inhabiting the physical form. I'm not my name, I'm not my personality. I am that I am. Well, hey everybody, I'm on the back deck at the OC. The sun is shining, the weather is beautiful, and I want to make a quick video. I was talking to a, a couple, they were young people, and it's so easy to get, in, get into a conversation with people if you just try, if you just break the ice and start talking. You'll find out that we all got so much in common, and that is what I do. That's I've done it ever since I was a little bitty boy. I talk to everybody and I see, especially now, that we all have something in common and that is a desire to have freedom. To be free indeed in our knowledge of thoughts. And you can have all the thoughts you want to have but if you don't talk to random people, you'll never know what is really the most important thing in this reality right now. And what it is, is truth. So when we were talking, we got into talking about Robert Kennedy Jr. And if he could literally take over the Food and Drug Administration and uh, the, the other part of it is the like NIA or something. Can't think of the actual letters and the words. I don't want to say too many words, but there's a guy named Fouch. Fouch? You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you get you get a type of full disclosure based around, let's just say there's full disclosure about food, there's full disclosure about energy, and then there's full disclosure about health. And then there's another one on top of that one, which is four. And that's the control mechanisms that are keeping this simulation in their control instead of you having the control over your own life. Because of the holographic nature of the programming of the simulation is where the confusion comes from and why we seem to have a misinformational chasm between people in a community talking to each other. And I'm here to tell everybody, talk to each other. Everybody needs to wake up the way they wake up, at the pace they waking up. Now, when I say awaken, most of y'all know what I'm talking about. But there's a conscious awareness of the situations that have happened in our life that bring us to these steps of awakening. It's a ladder to heaven. And as you walk those staircase and take those steps, somehow you become enlightened and you become full of love and peace and joy. And then you can actually realize that through our thinking, we are keeping ourselves as a slave or as a free man. And when you change the way you think about the controllers, then you can start changing the way you think about everything and everything in your surroundings, in the simulation, in the holographic reality of this time continuum. You'll notice that you got more control. And that's what the controllers don't want you to have, control because they're the controllers. It's all a word game that goes all the way back thousands of years when they first began to control us. They had to corrupt us 
two controllers. And the series that I have on about the Anunnaki, you want to check that out. And I'll put a, a link in the description of this video. And the Nephilians and the Anunnaki are a subject that has got to be told. These stories have to be understood by the innermost thinking of your being so you can realize that you're living someone else's story until you stop and you wake up. And when your eyes become open to the real truth, you start seeing everything with the lens of your heart. And with that lens, then you can ask for help. And to ask for that type of help, you're literally saying a prayer. And a prayer becomes a mantra. And a mantra becomes a habit. And a habit becomes something you do five times a day, 10 times a day, as many times as you feel to do it. And that mantra for me is, for me is, I say thank you, Father, Mother, God, for awakening this Christ nature consciousness in my reality of the I am that I am. I am becoming healthier, stronger. My body is healing itself from all of the disease and the negativity and the darkness that's within our food, within our air, and within the psyche of our surroundings. And then I ask for the words to give me the strength to be able to speak life to my atoms, my cells, and my DNA. I speak that I am becoming younger, stronger, and healthier. My body is becoming that that I say I am. I am becoming that of a 21-year-old elite Olympic athlete specializing in decathlons and triathlons, crossfit, kiteboarding, cycling, walking, running. All these disciplines are coming to me quickly and easily. And I say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the cold. Thank you for the pain. Thank you for everything. And my mind becomes so still that I can slow my heart rate down. So slow. I wish that for everybody. Everybody in their, once in their lifetime they need to have that experience of all the chatter stopping in their mind. They need to have that ability to speak life to their atoms and cells and DNA, down to the mitochondria cells and down to the telomeres. And they need to know through the self-realization of the I am presence that I am, that they are the same as I am. Their atoms, and my atoms. It's in the stars, the sun, the moon. It's in everything and everyone. It's the same God spark that's an eternal light body being inhabiting a physical form. I'm not my name, I'm not my personality. I am that I am. could be wrong, but I don't think so. I think people might think I went out of my mind, and you better believe I did. I was trapped in the matrix for 42 years. August the 17th, 2003, my mind became still. And that's the story that I'm telling you. If it happened to me, it could happen to everyone. And it will. 
it will happen to everyone. You see that last word, one? The teaching of Yahshua ben Joseph was that we was all just one. And we could be that one in the moment of now. And that is the only time there ever is and ever will be now. It's a beautiful thing. But I've rambled on. <laughs> I'm going to cut it off. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.